everybody, this is Ginger and Ginger's Rant Show, and it is 50 degrees, partly sunny, and just a second, we got a weather warning. Okay. Um, so I hope you're having a good Friday and the start of Super Bowl weekend. Go Chiefs! I like to see the Chiefs win, of course. Philadelphia needs a win too, so we'll see where that all that goes. Um, and they're both East Coast teams, so we'll wait and see what happens there. Anyway, um, so I was not able to do Wednesday because my uh, camera was acting up, and it's getting to the point where now I'm just going to have to replace it. Um, so I'm looking at budgeting that in and get a new stand-up camera, which is more level, and uh, you can see me better, and it's, you know, things are bit better with it. Um, anyway, uh, since I was going to do my rant on Wednesday, uh, again, technical issues involved. Um, President Biden's speech was on point. Uh, the Tuesday night speech, and I love the way he uh, put the GOP in their place, and he made them lie out on national TV, and I, I, I find this so funny. Um, it's mostly the radical element. Um, <coughs> such as Green and Gates and others. Um, even Senator uh, <coughs> Mitch Romney, uh, he gave Santos a dose of no medicine. Um, Santos wanted to be in the line to shake President Biden's hand. Well, President Biden ignored him. He didn't get, Santos did not get what he wanted. So, and there's also a petition in Congress right now of expelling him, giving him the boot because he did not, uh, or he basically lied his way into the job. Um, good majority of people don't like liars, especially pathic, <coughs> I'm sorry, pathological liars. Um, Hold on a second, I need to check something. Yeah, it's on. Um, I want to check, make sure my settings are working. Anyway, um, so they got a dose of their own medicine, the, the radicals. Uh, he was on point, and he says, this is where we should go from here from now and get things fixed, and also a banning assault rifles. And I think the assault rifle ban needs to be put back in place. It worked before, and it should be continued permanently working. Assault weapons don't really belong on the street, ever. Hey, Dorothy, good seeing you. How Florida? Um... So, there's a number of subjects that he touched upon, and of course we all know what it is that we saw the speech and everything. Um, now, um, of course the next thing during that speech, MTG uh, started to make a, pardon the French, an ass of herself. Uh, she was yelling out, all, she was jeering and yelling out, no, we're just being, just misbehaving and being a brat in Congress and yelling at President Biden when he was trying to do his speech. And, uh, McCarthy was trying to shush them up. He told them in the beginning, he said, no outburst. Just, just be quiet. You know, it's part of the decorum. So, oh, okay. Hey, Nancy. 
good seeing you. Um, yeah. So, she also on the list should be given the boot along with Gates, along with, you know, the radical element in there and get the sane and proper working people in there. Um, now I was listening to this morning a little bit on the, this one so-called committee on investigation Hunter Biden's laptop. Um, OTC, um, uh, or, oh, uh, Cortez, Oscar Cortez gal, she put a number of other, um, uh, Representative to shame the GOP, shame said, this is a waste of time. There's other more important subjects that we need to discuss. And she said, there's nothing but a Hunter Biden's laptop or anything else. Um, he worked legitimately, and there is no conspiracy with that or anything. And even the FBI said there's nothing in there. So she read them the Ryan Act and told them, she, said, she even told the chairman this is a waste of time. Since she's got more important subjects to work on than doing this. So all this is is a distraction, which it is. Um, and as usual, Jordan is lying through his teeth, and he's the one also that should be given the boot from Congress. He doesn't belong there. Um, guess what? This morning, an F-22 from Elmendorf Air Force Base shot down another surveillance balloon that was heading over Alaska. And that was actually was between Alaska and Canada. Um, they shot it down. Now on this one, the reason why they did that, that balloon was in the uh, flight corridors of, of uh, passenger airlines. That's why they shot it down, not only for that, but they also are getting information on it. So they, uh, they don't know the total origin of that balloon, but they're beginning to think that it could be either from China or from Russia. Um, you think China would learn? Uh, they've been slapped back before for doing espionage. And, I mean, there's other methods, methods but uh, the current balloon that was caught that was shot down last Saturday. Uh, it was a surveillance balloon. It was not a weather balloon. They said a um, weather balloon has a different setup than a surveillance balloon. Okay. Um, and a weather balloon goes up higher than a surveillance balloon. So, um, they're still gathering information on it, but there's some stuff that they have to keep top secret and the other stuff that they will release. But right now, they're still studying it. And we'll just let our, let our guys do their job. That's what we need to do. And one of the little pet peeves that I have regarding all the reporting and everything that's going on, the media needs to learn to listen to each other and stop repeating the same stupid question. You're not going to get the answer by doing that. And they need to stop repeating their damn question. And yes, I swore on that. Because it, it's, it's a pet peeve with me. And I go, guys, didn't you hear what the other answer was? So stop repeating the question. Um really kind of upsets me when they do this. It really does. So, uh, I'm glad they shot down that balloon over in Alaska. And our boys up in Elmendorf did their job. Uh, the commanding officer of Elmendorf 
I think it was Lieutenant General, I forget what his name was, but he contacted the president on this and he said there's another one and it's endangering the flight path. Why the other airlines saw the balloon and they go, you know, it's right down our our altitude level that we travel. And you need to, you need to do something with it. And so hence they shot it down. Um and they should. Uh, it, no country likes their sovereignty being invaded, and uh, Putin needs to stop the war over in Ukraine. He really does. This everything is tied in together. Everything, everything affects another event. And, uh, it's getting to the point where people are suffering not only from natural disa disasters, but also from man-made ones, too. So, um, yeah. So, both China and Russia are really up to no good. And if they want a good standing in the world, then they need to follow their P's and Q's. Uh, all this other stuff that's going on. Uh, right now, President Biden is working on domestic issues right now, um, such as our infrastructure and our social security helping seem to make seniors live better and everything else and those on fixed income uh, many of those who are on fixed income that like their social security got a raise uh, I got a 9.5 percent raise which is kind of nice it really helps out um, I just hope next fall that my rent doesn't go up I mean, there's really no reason to. Uh, and there should be a cap on rents. Uh, also, there is a discussion of doing a national rent control board. Because many of the rental companies have apartments spread across the United States. Everywhere. And good majority of them, when they raise the rent, uh, it's what's causing our homeless issue. People do work, but they don't make enough to make the rent. That's part of the problem. And the landlords are not helping the homeless issue by raising the rent. They should be lowering the rent. And stop making excuses to raise the rent. Uh, they said, well, this is so hard, and this and that, and the other, and I said, well, then you guys need to find another line of work. Um, oh, including in, in, in the business aspect, look at mergers. Uh, here, the, um, Kruger is in the process of buying out Albertsons and Safeway. Safeway. Uh, in other words, they're crowding out the little guy pretty much the smaller grocery stores well you know what there's really no need to merge there really isn't frankly Albertson Safeway and Kruger need to be owned separately not together uh, monopolies are I think now there needs to be stronger monopoly laws I really do um, it affects all of us, everybody, especially in the food, in the grocery industry, it affects everybody. So, we need to push back on that and go, nope, not going to happen. And again, back to the other previous subject, the rent control board, we need to have a rent, national rent control board in each 
broken uh, sap in each district, each quarter part of the country. Um, sort of like similar to the um, court system. Federal court system, you have the Ninth Circuit, you have the Third Circuit, you have the First Circuit that covers a I'm sorry. Covers a certain territory. Here, it'd be like the West Coast. It should be Red Control Board should be set up in the West Coast, Mountain, Central, Midwest, and Eastern Seaboard. And then you yeah, have two. I would say four representatives from each to serve on those boards. But they should be non-apartment owners. They should be made up of tenant tenants from each apartment to do that, to run those boards. Um, I don't know what you guys think of that idea, but uh, it gets better represent. The tenants need more representation than do the apartment complexes. Now here, where I live, I live in a senior housing building, and so we, we, <coughs> I'm sorry, we have to follow, they have to follow Social Security and Medicare regulations here. It's a little bit different set up than a regular apartment building, okay? Um, many of them do offer it independent and, uh, dependent and living and assisted living as well. Or they allow a tenant living here but have assisted living with them. A help person to live with them that does these things and still gain or maintain their independence. Um, another, it depends on each senior living apartment uh, complex, how they're set up too, but they still have to follow Social Security and Medicare regulations. Now, there are some uh, apartment complexes that are a lot fancier than others, and so their rent is much higher. And not everybody, you think of somebody on in fixed income, you think they're all on the same level of income. No, it varies. It varies. Some people collect Social Security, uh, their pension from the companies that they work for. Uh, some collect uh, armed forces pension, uh, and then combine with that in order to live here or live in these complexes. Um, now, I was lucky. I would have my Boeing, and then I had my Social Security. So. Uh, you hear again with this other sub talk of GOP wanting to sunset Medicare and Social Security. It's not going to work. Because everybody pays into it. Their constituents pay into it. Even their own family members are paying into it. So, uh, people like Gates, people like uh, MTG, uh, they need to go back and read history on to why these programs were created. What's the real reason they were created? Because uh, Social Security was created eight, a little over 80 years ago, or is it? Uh, let's see, it was 19. Hold on a second. Um, let me get the figure here. Okay, Social Security was created 88 years ago. Reason why President Theodore Roosevelt created it was that is to help those that are on tiny pensions and those that pay into it. Uh, so they have a net, by the time they retire, they have a nest egg to live on. Um, it used to be in Social Security, you said, well, you have to be dirt poor to have Social Security. Well, that's a myth. 
No, you have to work it. You have to pay into it. Uh, depends on the company. And there's some companies that don't pay into it, but now they're all required to help pay into it. In other words, pay for the, what they call the FCIA federal taxes into that. Uh, Social Security is a small part, then you have Medicare and Medicaid to pay into that. Um, so, those guys, like Gates, Green, and some of the other radicals, are really ignorant as to uh, not knowing the history on toilet and why it was set up. They think there are entitlement programs, so no. Totally separate. It's nothing to do with the national debt. The big problem with the national debt issue is when he who shall not be named uh, fiddled with the tax brackets and allowed a number of super wealthy not to pay taxes. And some of the big companies not to pay income tax. And all of it falls on, some of it falls on to the middle class. Well, that doesn't work, guys. You have to, you know, corporations and super wealthy, they could pay like 15, 20, 30 percent, even 70 percent and just drop the bucket for them because they can afford it. Okay? Um, I really kind of I don't know what they're afraid of. I really don't. And I think they need to be smacked back and said, you know what? You're gonna pay into you're gonna pay into it. You will pay those income taxes, both corporate and individual. Now I'm retired. I pay only a small portion. Uh, everybody pays a small portion. But we also get a refund too. So, I don't know what their problem is, including the Cadillac health care system that Congress has. Now, that needs to be addressed. They should be on Medicare and Medicaid and not on their Cadillac system. That's where I think now the money for that should go somewhere else. They need to lose some of their entitlement. And uh, also another thing that needs to be changed is, uh, some people think it's radical, but no, it's not really. Uh, when they are not going to run again for office, or they resign from office, uh, they should not be getting a retirement benefit from that. Could it's a public service. A little bit different, you know. Um, anyway, um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it on my list. Again, I'm sorry about Wednesday. I was not able to do my rant on Wednesday. Um, Due to the technical issues that are going on. I'm going to be uh, hopefully budgeting it in and getting a new camera. And because uh, once in a while it'll run hot, then it'll malfunction. So, <coughs> yeah. Well, you know, Nancy, Congress should be paid the based on what their constituents make. And I'll bet you things will change real fast. They should be based on what their constituents make in each state. Because each state has a different industry and what their GT gross income uh, rate is. Now, California has the, I think, the 
third or second most GDP in the world. Um, what's the other one? And but our GDP uh, come to it all together. So yeah. Uh, so we need to get up our uh, Congress and our senators and say, look, this needs to change. And you need to sunset your Cadillac privileges. And this is run by uh, public service only. And also should be banned is uh yeah it based on what the average is constituents make in the respective states so it depends on what their major industry is like here up here in the pacific northwest we have boeing and then we have like what they call light industry or light tech which is microsoft and there's some other smaller com companies too. So, and of course the space exploration is really ramping up. They're really getting good pay now because they're helping out with space exploration and um, and it, take, it takes a load off on NASA because of the uh, intermittent publishing issues more than anything. Anyway, uh, it's seven, it's not seven, sorry. <coughs> it's 126, and it's almost time for me to sign off. Have fun watching the Super Bowl. And go Chiefs. I'd like to see them win again. Um, and I will see you guys later. And I will do my rant on, or not my rant, sorry, it's old habit, my chat on Monday. So I'll see you on Monday. Let's see if I have anything next week. Hold on one minute. Let's see what's today. Tenth. Uh, let's see. I'm good for next week. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Yes, go Chiefs. And hope there's, there's no injuries. Uh, because in the last, uh, when they had the Pro Bowl games last weekend, one of the uh, running backs, one of the receivers running back, anyway, he just located his big toe on one of the plays. And he couldn't put weight on it. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> That's got to hurt. So, um, they did x-ray. They said there's no damage, but they're going to do an MRI. Uh, see, you know, if there's any other injury, especially around the joint area. Because he did, did dislocate his toe. So, um, he's going to be sore for a while. And he's going to be off for a while. He's not going to be, you know, he'll be keeping in shape, but he can't really do anything with things. Because you got to use your feet to walk, you know. So, anyway, I will see you guys on Monday at 1, Ginger's Chat Show. Be sure to insist, persist, push back. And thank you for watching. And, um, also YouTube is now... Uh, I don't know if any guys use YouTube or not. They are now, uh, with their shorts, you know, their film shorts, you are getting, re you can get revenue through shorts. Ad revenue. So, I'm going to be doing that to advertise my show. Uh, and then I'll try to work on my, uh, store too. Working on that. So, I will see you guys later. Okay? Have a wonderful weekend and go cheap. Love you all. Bye-bye. Oh, and be sure to share, too.
Okay? Bye-bye.